we will see how to remove background noise from audio. Not all kind of background noise can be removed in post processing. I have spent lots of time trying to remove different kind of background noises and most of the time it had not worked that well. So I'll discuss what kind of noise can we remove and how to remove those noises. I think it will save you lots of time once you know what kind of noise you can remove. I'll be using Audacity for noise reduction. It is a free software for Windows, Linux and Mac. Noise reduction in all other software basically follows the same rule or procedure. I'll give a link of this website in the description. I will use this piece of audio for this demo. Here you can see some noise in form of small dots. Audacity has an effect called noise reduction. Select a part, go to effects, noise reduction. This help icon will give you all the necessary information you need to know about noise reduction. Click on that and you will get into this manual page. I strongly suggest you go through this page. It will set the foundation for noise reduction effort you take in the future. This drop box summarizes which noise Audacity can remove and which noise it cannot remove. So it has to be constant background noise. Noise of laptop fan or AC unit or a refrigerator nearby falls into this category of noise. Irregular background noise like traffic noise or dog barking or children talking cannot be removed. Some other things also need to be in consideration. For example, if the noise is too loud or the noise frequency is similar to the actual recording, then it cannot be removed, even though that is a constant noise. So if you sum up all these things, the actual noise you can remove is very basic with any software. Let's now see how to remove this noise in Audacity. Audacity noise reduction is a two-step process. The first step is to take a noise sample and the second step is to remove noise similar to that sample. If you select a noise sample and click this get noise profile button, Audacity will take a note of that kind of noise. Before doing that, let me show you one thing. From here, I will select multi-view. Now my audio is visible both in waveform and spectrogram. I'll drag this to make it bit bigger so the noise dots will be visible. Now dots are visible. What you see in the spectrogram view is the noise pattern. These patterns are searched everywhere in the audio clip. When Audacity finds a match of this pattern, for example inside this audio, it will remove those sounds. It is not possible to find the match of the pattern just by seeing with your eyes, but you get the idea how the noise removal thing works. It is not always necessary that you have to take the noise sample from the beginning. It can be anywhere in the middle or from the end. Main thing about noise selection is to select a noise that you are trying to remove. It is always a good idea to record only noise at the beginning. It is easier to find later and most likely that white noise is present all over the audio. I'll close the multi view. I have selected a noise sample at the beginning. Audacity requires only 0.05 seconds of noise sample. I have selected way more than that and it will help Audacity to recognize my noise better. After selecting the noise sample, go to effect, noise reduction. Click on get noise profile and Audacity will take a note of that. I had only one type of white noise, so I do not need to add any more noise profiles. You can take multiple noise profiles when you have different type of white noises. For example, in the middle of recording, your laptop fan started making noise. So you can add another noise profile by selecting that noise. If you do not run into those kind of issues, taking a noise profile once will work ok. I will play this noise only part so that we can see the difference after noise removal. You see it is hitting minus 42 dB on the playback meter. Select the audio from where you want to remove noise. For me the whole audio so I will select all. Then go to effect noise reduction again. Here you have to set how much noise you want to reduce when noise is found. 0 means remove no noise and 48 is the maximum value. You should keep this value between 12 to 18. Setting this value too high will introduce some noticeable distortion in the audio. I will keep it to the default 12 and most of the time it works fine. Next is the sensitivity. Sensitivity instructs Audacity how aggressive the noise reduction will be. 
if you set the sensitivity to 0 and noise reduction to 48, no noise reduction will happen. The higher the value of sensitivity, the more aggressive noise reduction will be. Sensitivity with 6 will look for a more exact match with noise profile than the sensitivity of 12. Most of the time, 6 will work ok. If you set the value too low, it can introduce another type of audio anomaly. So choose a value between 6 to 12. After reducing noise, some gaps are introduced in the digital audio data. Frequency smoothing bands try to minimize those gaps. Its value can be from 0 to 12. 0 means do nothing with the gap after noise reduction. A general guideline is you should try with a lower value for voice and a value close to 6 for music. I suggest you use a value of 0 or 1 for your voice. If you choose more than that, your voice will sound different than your actual voice. These two radio buttons, reduce and residue, decides what will happen after noise reduction. Residue means it will keep only the thing that is removed in the timeline. If you want to check what is actually getting removed, you can use residue. Otherwise, continue with the reduce and you will get the audio after noise reduction. You see those small dots are gone. If I now play the noise only part, the playback meter is hitting below 51, which was around 42 before reduction. Let's now hear the audio after noise reduction. This is a Audacity test recording to test noise reduction. This is a Audacity test recording. So it is ok after the noise reduction. Normally the small amount of noise we got after reduction is ok. But if you want to get rid of that, apply noise reduction again. Go to effect and you see a repeat noise reduction option is here. This will repeat the noise reduction process with the last settings. Before repeating the process, you have to select the audio from which you want to remove noise. I'll select everything and repeat the noise reduction. If I play the noise only part now, you see nothing on the playback meter. But you should always check the actual audio after noise reduction. It may seem tempting to apply noise reduction multiple times. Remember, noise reduction introduces distortion in the audio. So do not overuse noise reduction or it will make your audio quality poor instead of improving. At the bottom of the manual page, you will see a link for alternative noise reduction techniques. It is about a spectral editing. This discusses how to edit the spectrogram you saw earlier in this video. But the bottom line is same, you can't edit away traffic noise or any irregular background noise. Please check the video on the screen to know more about noise-free recording environment. Thanks for watching and see you next.